Yes. You have extraordinary skills. And you earned her trust when you rescued her. If I had more people, I wouldn't have to ask for external help. But, as things stand... Here's the situation. Lady Bailu, the Vidyadra Dragon Lady, has escaped from the Alchemy Commission again. I say again because the Realm Keeping Commission has seen more than a few of her bad-tempered escapes. This must be your first time on the Sienjo. It's a long story. The Vidyadra is one of the three races that established the Sienjo Alliance. Their bloodline is different from us Sienjo natives. The Vidyadra are born with great vitality. The gift of the permanence, as they say. That's all you need to know. The rest is irrelevant to what's happening today. A dragon lady isn't an official position. People address her that way out of love. The Vidyadra High Elder, on the other hand, is a position similar to a chief. It's been passed down from generation to generation. But only the Vidyadra that possess draconic features and inherit the Dragonheart can be successors. And Miss Bailu is the Vidyadra's future High Elder on the law film. The rumor has always been that she can heal the wounded merely by touching them and shedding tears. She also studied medicine in the Alchemy Commission. That's why her other title is Healer Lady. Not imprisoned, exactly. Vidyadara customs are somewhat different from Sienjo native customs. Miss Bailu has incredible talents and is next in line to rule over the Vidyadara. It's normal that her people would want to keep a close eye on her. However, she also has somewhat of a free spirit. She always manages to find a way to escape her residence. It used to be the duty of the Realm Keeping Commission to go after her and take her back to the Alchemy Commission. But this time is different. Because of the Stellaron Crisis, we're constantly short of manpower. Besides, even if we catch the Dragon Lady, we can't take her back anytime soon. I don't know if you heard, someone locked down the Delves connected to the Alchemy Commission. Now nobody can get in or out. It's completely cut off. Something very fishy is going on. That's what I want to know. I guess she sneaked out before the Delves were locked down. She might even know what happened in the Alchemy Commission. And those doctors came from apothecaries and other Delves. I've asked them, and they don't have the slightest clue what's going on. I'd like you to help with two things. First, find the Dragon Lady and take care of her until the Alchemy Commission Delves are reopened. Don't lose sight of her. The second thing might be a bit hard to understand. I want you to stop her from treating the Mara Struck. Like I said, we don't have enough people. The Dragon Lady is smart. If we try to keep her in the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery, she'll sneak out the first chance she gets. <laughs> Trust me, it's happened before. Besides, it isn't a crime for her to run away from her residence. And even if it were, given her status, we couldn't exactly stick her in jail and throw away the key. You're the only person we can turn to. Being stricken with Mara isn't like catching a curable disease. All the healer lady can do is slow the process. Take you short life species as an example. Do you consider aging a disease? Aging can be slowed, but it's still unavoidable. Just like being stricken with Mara for the people of the Sienjo. Unfortunately, becoming Mara struck is more terrifying than death. It's an inevitable curse in the blood of Sienjo natives. The Sienjo has long had other methods. When Mara's about to strike, 
the spirit fairs and judges of the Ten Lords Commission promptly take the afflicted away. It's not something the Alchemy Commission should be meddling in. Mara is scary, but it won't cause any harm if you have it under control. We have the Realm Keeping Commission and Cloud Knights here in Exalting Sanctum. More than enough to handle any eventuality. However, the Dragon Lady's Mara suppression could lead to Mara Struck falling under the Ten Lords Commission's radar. If we let her carry on, we'll have Mara Struck on every street corner. People will panic. Seeing as we're already dealing with one crisis, we need to be extra vigilant when dealing with the Mara Struck. This is not something that can be taken lightly. You're the distinguished guest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu Shen. As such, you'll also have the full trust of the Realm Keeping Commission. Oh, one more thing. There's a lot of suspicion surrounding the Alchemy Commission these days. If you discover someone from the Commission on the hunt for the Dragon Lady, watch your step. There's no other way. The Realm Keeping Commission will pay you handsomely for your help. Household registration. <laughs> Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission. Lady Bailu, I told you to follow my plan. You draw attention when you use your powers, and we still have to take care of the matter at hand. I was only tending to the sick. Besides, you weren't even here just now. Where did you go? You know full well about my situation, Lady Bailu. If there are people from the Ten Lords Commission present in the plaza, then... Uh... The Ten... Ten Lords Commission? Uh, you're not a Ten Lord Spirit Fair. Why are you trying to frighten people? <laughs> I only escaped... I mean, left the Alchemy Commission for an official medical visit. There's nothing more to it, okay? The nurse here can vouch for me. <laughs> Easy, Lady Bailu. He's clearly not from the Alchemy Commission either. Uh, then don't scare me like that! Huh... Wait a minute... I've seen you before! In the plaza! I was surrounded by all those Mara struck! You rescued me, right? It was you! You came just in time! Bansia, you said you don't know the way from here, right? This guy's no pushover. He'll be able to help. No, Lady Bailu. I don't trust him. Please leave us. <laughs> Said no trustworthy person ever. <gasps> you two, stop arguing! I think there's someone from the Alchemy Commission over there! You! Help us hide first! We'll talk later! Come on, draw already. I don't believe in ghosts. Get your extractor cleaned or your star skiff serviced? <laughs> Look no further. Lady Bailu, this way. Help 
us get rid of him, please! We'll have plenty of time to talk later. Huh. I'll ask first, and then decide what to do. I don't believe in the You there! Excuse me. I want to ask you something. I haven't asked anything yet. At least hear me out first. Have you seen a woman wearing an alchemy commission uniform? She was about the same height as you. I think she was heading towards the jetty. We walk the same path, but... It would seem she's hiding from me. <laughs> what makes you say that? You too. Mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the arbor's new growth. Not something you could have guessed. Good to be acquainted with another disciple, brother. There's been a leak. Here are the orders. Read them, and you'll understand. We must catch the traitor. All go search in another direction. Right? I knew it! See? I told you this guy was trustworthy. Thank you for helping us. But I'm worried you being here could just complicate matters further. Please leave us be. Huh? huh? Why were they looking for Miss Spansia? That can't be right. They must have been looking for me. How can I prove the doctor from the Alchemy Commission was looking for Bonsia? But wait a minute. I'll keep looking. But wait a minute. I'll keep looking. Here's the proof. Uh, this letter... Wait, I've heard of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Aren't they those crazy followers that worship the Marastruck and the Plague's author? But Bonsia's nothing like them. She wanted me to treat the Marastruck. Lady Bailu, 
You promised you wouldn't tell anyone about that. Wanted her to treat the Marastruck? Suspicious. Could she be a disciple of Sanctus Medicus? I wonder if I have any evidence. This is a prescription from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Bailu, can you take a look? The handwriting on this prescription is exactly the same as the one you gave to me. Bansia, are you really from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Huh? You're a liar! A great big liar! <sighs> I'm sorry, Lady Bailu. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. And that doctor from the Alchemy Commission was sent to catch me. But I... I never meant to harm Lady Bailu. On the contrary, by taking her away from that place, I was protecting her. I made a deal with Lady Bailu before we escaped. We have an urgent task to complete. Please. Don't take her away. I should ask Bailu what she thinks about all this first. Aww. Treating wounds and diseases is one thing. Curing the evils of humanity? There I was thinking, someone helped me escape the Alchemy Commission because they genuinely wanted to help me. Huh. Enough. Being angry will stunt my growth. Let's put this behind us. I don't know much. If it weren't for those scrolls in the Alchemy Commission's Elixir Research Terrace, I doubt anyone in the Shencho would have heard of them. A long time ago, even by the standards of long-life species, the Shencho eliminated an organization that worshipped the Plague's author. Why were they eliminated? Because they held an incredibly dangerous notion. Shencho people wanted to be released from the threat of Mara and return to the stability of life and death. Yet the disciples of Sanctus Medicus believed that being stricken with Mara was a blessing, a natural evolutionary step in casting off the mortal coil. Sounds great, right? Well, only if you think becoming a monster devoid of all humanity is a good thing. That's why the Cloud Knights and Ten Lords Commission cooperated to eliminate the organization. But just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. It's like eradicating a sickness. Easier to do when the symptoms are visible. In hindsight, not only did the Disciples endure, they expanded the organization in secret. The people of the Shencho have asked themselves that question thousands of times. Countless doctors and sages have dedicated their lives to researching a cure for the curse. Tragically, besides a few theories, no one has come to a definite conclusion. In truth, nobody in this world can fully comprehend the curse of the Plague's author. Some doctors believe that because the people of the Shencho have immortal bodies, their memories accumulate until no more can be stored in the brain. Only the most vivid and extreme memories persist. But such memories are usually ones of regret, hatred, grief, and other negative emotions. That's when the symptoms of being stricken with Mara begin to show. But the physical changes are the most terrifying. How should I know? It's not like commission members walk around with Disciple of Sanctus Medicus on their foreheads. I'm sorry I wasn't honest with Lady Bailu, but <laughs> I had no other choice. I asked her to save my beloved. In return, I helped her escape from the Alchemy Commission. I broke many of the Vidyadara's laws, and the Alchemy Commission is 
bound to punish me. But I just can't let my beloved die. I don't have much time left, but go ahead. I thought we would be fine after we escaped. I didn't know those people would come after us. I, I just couldn't find a way to tell her I was a disciple and about all the things I experienced there. You've been nice to me, but you shouldn't have kept me in the dark. I hate when grown-ups hide secrets and only tell you half the story. Whew, it's such a headache. His name is Leon Moon. He's a short-life species that requested an elixir. I used to think that the suffering of short-life species was nothing. But my heart... <laughs> my heart ached when I saw him in such pain. It's something I never expected to experience in my lifetime. Falling in love with a short-life species. <laughs> such a bittersweet feeling. That's when I thought of Lady Bailu, the dragon lady that can heal mortals through tears alone. But it would take 30 years for her to treat all those in need. I had no choice but to come up with this plan. Please, please forgive me. I'm already showing symptoms of the Mara struck. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus regard the Marastruck as saints. They take all kinds of strange medicines to speed up the process. I was no exception. But since I met Leomu, I realized that these saints are horrible creatures. Even if I were to become immortal, to not recognize him, to forget him, or become something that he doesn't recognize, that's why I stopped taking the medicines and escaped. Thanks to the Dragon Lady, I made it here safely. I can't let the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus or the Ten Lords Commission find us. We need to find a way to get to Cloudford without drawing their attention. I'm Guang Da, an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. If you have an urgent issue, please go to the Chancery. Uh, huh? Aren't you the healer lady? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> the Xianzhou did away with all that nonsense eras ago. <sighs> if it's official business you're here about, you'll need to go to the Chancery. Da Hao and Song Yan should be there. I'm just an orderly. As for anything concerning the Dragon Lady, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Hey, would you keep it down? You've got it wrong. That. That's not my ship, it's my friend's. My friend has a Starskiff travel permit and can help you leave quickly. I'm not the one who owns the ship. Just cut to the chase. Can we take the ship or not? Yes, you can, but please keep it down. I can take you there if the price is right. I, uh, I mean, my friend can take you there. So relax, hmm? How about it? Shall we set off? Your symptoms are getting worse. I have some soothing tonic in my gourd. Would you like some before we set off? <sighs> Thanks, Lady Bailu. But we can't delay any longer. I told Lanmu to hide in a Cloudford shipping container. 
I couldn't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus find him. Because I promised Leon Mu I'd bring him an elixir of immortality. To make him one of the people of the Sienjo like me. <gasps> you know that's one of the Shencho's ten unpardonable sins, right? Yes. But... I knew nothing about the treachery of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus back then. I only knew that people in the Alchemy Commission were involved in ancient clandestine medicines. But I was wrong. It wasn't a blessing of immortality. Not even a poor imitation. They were turning humans into monsters, weren't they? Short-life species are expendable to those maniacs. They use them in experiments to develop their medicines. <laughs> I don't have much time left. And I only have one solution left. Hey. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Lady Bailu, you still remember our deal, right? You help me escape the Alchemy Commission, I save your sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Bailu. The place we arranged to meet up is ahead. Let's go. I can't. I can't forget. I must get there. This is bad. She's starting to lose touch with reality. The soothing tonic might not work anymore. This calls for shock treatment. For a while, I'll think of something. Try not to move, Banzia. But he's not here. We still need to find him. Nurse, get a hold of yourself. <sighs> Doctor's orders. Can you see if there are any clues nearby? I don't think Banzia's sweetheart would leave for no reason. Are you talking about Jade Abacuses? We escaped the Alchemy Commission in a hurry. Didn't have time to bring them. Leave the patient to me. I'm the healer lady of the Alchemy Commission, after all. Let's start with this area, and see if we can find any clues nearby. Stay still. This ointment will help. <laughs> there was a day when all the other patients were lying in bed. But I found him painting a forest. I told him he was supposed to be resting. He said, I want to see the vast forests of Van Walk one day. And to make a dream a reality, <laughs> you must paint an invisible future. I must get well by any means, even if it means jail or exile. I never had anything I wanted to do. <laughs> I just got on with my nursing work, day in and day out. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I'd feel like a century was a pointless, trivial blink of an eye, and that it wouldn't matter if it was all over by the next blink. I wasn't interested in anything that had happened to me up to then. The things I'd experienced, <laughs> None of it mattered. But the moment I heard Liamu's words, <laughs> I suddenly felt sad. A person shouldn't feel that way about their life. They shouldn't be indifferent to the time they own. Liamu, <laughs> he opened my eyes. He was like 
A shining star. Sorry. I don't quite understand this feeling. My lady, why do you always run away from the Alchemy Commission? Don't you like treating people? It's true. I was born with a gift for healing. But as for whether I like it or not, I couldn't tell you. I've been studying medicine for as long as I can remember. Nobody's ever asked me whether I like it. Those old Vidyadara fools don't care. And neither do I. Treating others is like eating and drinking for me. I don't have any feeling towards it. And if I had to choose, I think I'd say I hate it. But I like it when someone gets better after I treat them. So you need to pull yourself together. <sighs> <sighs> I think... Uh, I can understand you. Looks like Bansha's sweetheart was tracked by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and had to switch locations. I should go tell Bansha and Bailu. What happened? Did you find any clues? of Sanctus Medicus already had their eye on this place? Oh. I just hope he's okay. Let's... keep walking. No way! Do you know how bad your condition is? Don't worry. I'll find Young Mu and treat him. Send Bansia back to the apothecary in Starskip Haven. No. I know exactly how bad my condition is. That's why I've changed my mind. I want to see him one last time. You'll help me, right? I have a favor to ask you. You've seen for yourself how dangerous the Mara Struck can be. If the time comes, please protect the Dragon Lady. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you say that. of a lot of disciples in the area just now. I'm a traitor to them. They won't stand idly by if they lay eyes on me. If you can't fend them off, just let me go with them. Does one traitor require so many people? What was that? Was that the... <sighs> Lady Bailu, I can't go on anymore. Ah, <sighs> he isn't waiting for us here. Did he hide somewhere else? <sighs> Lady Bailu, watch out! There you are! Z clearly failed them. Oh, and if it isn't the Dragon Lady, trying to make up for past sins, are we? Blah, blah, blah. I've heard enough out of you already. If it's a beating you want, allow me to do the honors. I'll deal with you in a moment, little girl. Men, take the traitor and make sure you get the list from her.
Is that how you beg for mercy? What the heck are you doing? Where is everyone? Seize them! Are you giving me an order? You! Karmic atonement. A Ten Lords Commission, George? Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Let's go. <laughs> Show no mercy. Let's make it quick. That'll take more than medic nap time. You won't get away. Commission judge packs a punch. Papancia, you. Shh, shh, shh. If she notices my symptoms, she won't hesitate. Why are the disciples of Sanctus Medicus pursuing you? Tourists? You. Girl, raise your head. You have a wandering look in your eyes. A Mara struck look, perhaps? Uh, help us, Miss Judge! We only just managed to escape before the Delves were locked down. Those evil men have been chasing us. This nurse is so scared she can barely stand! Hmm. Madam Shui the remnants of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been found in the southwest of Cloudford. This place isn't secure. You should leave immediately. Soldiers, see them on their way. That's the strangest judge I've ever come across. Bansia, are you all right? <laughs> I made it this far. I won't go back without seeing him one last time. Let's go this way and see if we can avoid those cloud nights. There are Cloud Knights and Disciples of Sanctus Medicus over there. Ugh. We don't have time for them. There are armed villains up ahead. If you're not on duty here, return to the city for your own safety. Uh, uh, he's right behind that door. We're almost there. But there are Cloud Knights stationed there. Wait, I have an idea. We don't have time for storytelling! Didn't we pass some soldiers resting on the way over here? You know, the place where the Cloud Knights and the Disciples of Sentus Medicus fought. <sighs> you said it, not me. Hmm, a spot of emergency treatment in exchange for some armor. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> Let's do what Lady Byler suggested. Soldiers guiding me back to the Alchemy Commission. They won't know any better. Ha! 
Halt! What's with the kid? Uh, surely you know the healer lady of Alchemy Commission? Hmm. She does have horns and a tail. I knew that. You're escorting her back to the Alchemy Commission, right? Affirmative. No! No! I haven't finished playing yet! I don't want to go back to the Alchemy Commission! Uh... <coughs> Is the nearest harbor up ahead? That's right. You don't seem very well, soldier. We have a military doctor up ahead. Don't worry. I have the dragon lady with me. I... I still want to play! I'm hungry! Don't take me back! I don't want to go back! I'm not going back! Access granted. Good work, soldiers. <clears throat> Thank you. How was that? Wasn't my acting amazing? Let me tell you, a performance like that requires a lot of temper tantrum practice. Hey! If I hadn't pretended to cry, you wouldn't have got through the sentry post. By the way, what's taking Bansia so long? <coughs> Why can't I take off my helmet? <sighs> Why is my voice like this? Can you help me check? <laughs> it feels like something's caught. <laughs> Has Amara taken hold? <laughs> that was quite... <coughs> Sudden. But I still remember him. And I remember both of you. Oh, Lady Bailu. Is this a result of your healing? <laughs> Thank you. If it weren't for you, I... Don't thank me! It's my fault. They couldn't preserve you the way you were. You can't cure someone stricken with Mara. <laughs> it's already a miracle that I still have my senses. That I can talk to you. Hey. Do you still remember what I said earlier? If the time comes... Let's go. <laughs> While I still have my senses. Thank you, Lady Bailu. 
But I can't feel the gap between my skin and the helmet anymore. <sighs> We've arrived. Is he not here either? <sighs> He's cautious by nature. Do you remember his note? He told me to come alone. But you already... <sighs> he won't show himself if you're here. <coughs> I'll call out to him. Please, you two, find somewhere to hide. Remember our promise. I remember. Let's go. Something for you. Follow my charge. You still Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <sighs> Do you think she saw him one last time? Complicated, huh? Let's keep heading in this direction until we find him. You from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus or the Ten Lords Commission? Don't touch me! I didn't do anything! Stop trying to scare him! It won't help the situation. I'm Bai Lu. Bansia sent me to heal you. <sighs> You're finally here. First, I was being chased by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus, then I ran into the Cloud Knights. Then I thought I heard Banshia's voice, but I ran straight into a monster! <sighs> what a day. But if Banshia sent you, then... Where is she? Isn't she with you? What do you think? Should we tell him the truth? What? That monster armed to the teeth? That was Banshia? You're lying. That's true. She had to disguise herself in order to meet you. How is that possible? Could you take me there? Just to confirm. This is Bansha? This hideous creature? Hey! I know you're probably in shock, but... She changed out of her original clothes, right? 
There's no point in searching the body, then. Did she give you any secret boxes or letters? Search? For what? You don't know? She left me with nothing! Was she playing me this whole time? The list of the names of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. With that list, I'd be able to blackmail the disciples into giving me the elixir of immortality. Or I could submit the list to the Cloud Knights to avoid banishment from the Sian Cho. That woman promised me countless times. In the end, I finally trusted her. I genuinely thought she'd offer me change. But in the end, she failed at the most important hurdle. Or maybe she failed from the very beginning. She probably lied to you too. Of course not. I have more important matters in places other than the Sien Cho. Elixirs and immortality are just a means to an end. I won't stay on the Lofu. <laughs> Sweetheart? That was her wishful thinking. I wasn't interested in the slightest. No way. You thought so too? Heal. What? Let me heal you! So I never have to lay eyes on you again! Huh? Great idea! Seeing as I'm due to heal him anyway, do your worst! Wait! What are you doing? For the next 30 years, he'll hiccup uncontrollably every day. What? He deserved it. <laughs> That's the price he paid for my lenience, and it still wasn't enough. <sighs> anyway, you know any good hiding places? I'm still on the run. Express? What's that? Hmm... The Xianzhou is still in a mess. I better stay in Starskiff Haven for the time being. I'm sure there'll be fevers and headaches to take care of before long. Bansia asked me if I like treating people. Like I said, it's as easy as eating and drinking for me. I don't like or dislike it. But this whole incident has made me wish I knew more about the Mara Struck. Thank you. Hm. Maybe meet again at the food stalls of Starskip Haven. <laughs>